lab-grown human milk may be just three years away. Breast milk is the perfect food for babies, but not all mothers are able to best feed. And with adoption or surrogacy, parents don't have the option. Enter BioMilk. The North Carolina-based startup is working to create human milk outside of the body, from burgers to breasts. The idea first came to co-founder and chief science officer Layla Strickland in 2013 after she heard about the world's first lab-grown burger. The cell biologist by training Strickland wondered if similar technology could be used to culture human milk-producing cells, she tells CNN Business. Let me just read a little bit more. I find this stuff really gross, sorry. Biomilk is not the only company hoping to create a new kind of milk for babies. Turtle Tree, based in Singapore, and the United States is culturing stem cells to create milk components from a range of mammals, including humans. While New York-based Helena is using microbial fermentation to grow proteins found in human milk. By taking dairy farming out of the equation, Biomilk says its product could make feeding babies more environmentally sustainable. Producing one kilogram of packaged formula creates between 7 and 11 kilograms of carbon dioxide. According to one estimate, Biomilk is still running studies into its own carbon footprint. The promise of a greener alternative to formula has attracted investment from Bill Gates. Breakthrough Energy Ventures, alongside other investors, the Climate Focus Fund helped Biomilk raise $21 million in October 2021. With this funding, Strickland says Biomilk is focused on expanding and making more milk. We consider ourselves now in our second trimester, she says. That's so gross. Lab-grown milk and lab-grown meat. Look at this. Bill Gates, rich nations should shift entirely to synthetic beef. We spoke to the Microsoft co-founder about his new book, The Limits of His Optimism, The Tech Breakthroughs and Energy Policies We Need, and How His Thinking on Climate Change Has Evolved. That's just a year ago. And here's the World Economic Forum pushing the same thing. Hmm. They're talking about making food in a lab using stem cells of animals. What are they doing? This is Frankenstein stuff. But they also just 3D print food too. Take a look at this. We are creating a matrix here, which is a plant-based matrix, but we are ordering the fibers as if they were muscular fibers. So we are micro-extruding these filaments so that the plant-based stick has at the same time the appearance and the texture of an actual beef stick. Right, so the machine is uh, finished now. When we tear this apart, you see the fibers because we are trying to replicate what is inside the muscle of an actual animal. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Global population is growing. We will be around 10 billion by 2050, and the meat consumption is growing globally. So we really need a solution, and we need to provide alternatives to meat. What's going on here? Why is Bill Gates behind so many of these weird projects? Bill Gates and Richard Branson are betting lab-grown meat might be the food of the future. Sure, do you doubt for a second that these billionaire oligarchs eat anything other than the finest meat, Wagyu beef from Japan? They eat whatever they want. 
I mean, it's not like Bill Gates has a lot of respect for life. I mean, ask his wife about that. You know, it was also widely reported that Bill had a, a friendship or business or some kind of contact with Jeffrey Epstein and that you were not, uh, that that was very upsetting to you. Did that play a role in the, in the divorce at all in this process? Yeah, as I said, it's not one thing. It was many things. But I did not like uh, that he'd had meetings with Jeffrey Epstein, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you made that clear to him? I made that clear to him. I also met Jeffrey Epstein exactly one time. Did you? Yes, because I wanted to see who this man was. And um, I regretted it from the second I stepped in the door. He was abhorrent. He was evil personified. I had nightmares about it afterwards. So, you know, my heart breaks for these young women because that's how I felt. And here I'm an older woman. My God, I feel terrible for those young women. It's awful. You felt that the moment you walked in. I didn't he realize was awful. that. Yeah. And you shared that with Bill and he still continued to spend time with him? Any of the questions remaining about what Bill's relationship there was, those are for Bill to answer. Okay. But I made it very clear how I felt about him. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure if you're fine with pedophile rapists like Jeffrey Epstein, you don't really care about animals or whatever it is that Bill Gates claims to care about. Doesn't care about people, does he? Bill Gates is the biggest private owner of farmland in the United States. Why? Here's another one. Here's another story. Bill Gates now owns more farmland than anyone in the U.S. Conspiracy theorists want to know why. Really? Are only conspiracy theorists curious about this? You're not, you're not interested in that question? You, you don't want to know? Yeah, if you're not naturally curious about why Bill Gates has suddenly bought up more farmland than anyone else in America, you lack any intellectual curiosity, but left-wingers will scold you for asking about it. Since when did left-wingers, by the way, run to do damage control and PR for billionaire oligarchs? Isn't that weird, too? Is it, is it about green living or something? <laughs> That's what Bill Gates says, but I don't think he really cares about the environment, as Elon Musk showed us the other day. Bill Gates is taking a massive short position against Tesla stock, the electric car company. Gates doesn't just fly in private jets. He owns a private jet company. It's not about a greener world. It's about his bizarre fetishes and his desire to control people like we're ants in an ant farm. Plus, we got to say, the guy's just weird. Bill Gates has been busy in his second life as a billionaire philanthropist. On Tuesday in China, he took the next step in his crusade against poverty and disease by showing the room a jar of poop. This is a container of human feces. Yeah, no thanks. He's obsessed with poop. I mean, I'm sorry, I gotta show you this. Yuck. It will grow to every corner of the earth that needs it because it makes money every day. It's water. You know, you can't actually find out answers about this, at least not easily. I mean, try Googling these things. You won't find a lot of news about the story. You'll find rebuttals to the story that you can't see. Fact checks to the story. Fact checks paid for by Bill Gates. Just a reminder, Bill Gates, who has paid more than $300 million to media outlets, much in the same way that Justin Trudeau has done, you really can't ask him tough questions. You really can't ask him questions at all. It's a miracle. Those reporters who asked him about Jeffrey Epstein are still alive. I mean, you can't ask questions about him. You can't have questions for him directly. They're sort of lost in the fog. I mean, how does a guy who carries around a jar of poop and who hangs out with pedophiles get to be the boss of the world? That was an excerpt from my daily TV style show called The Ezra Levant Show each weekday. I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview a fascinating guest. I read some fan mail or hate mail, depends on which I like more. And we end with a video of the day. You can get it all at rebelnewsplus.com.